Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem, uh, a word problem, and we need to utilize a system of equations to help solve this word problem. So we're going to interpret the word problem into equations and then as well solve it. So we've got, this is coming from CPM's course three, and this is chapter five closure. Uh, and this is specifically 5-67. So I'll read it. We'll go through it. So it says, to rent a jet ski at Sam's costs $25 plus $3 per hour. At Claire's, it costs $5 plus $8 per hour. Wants to know and how, at how many hours will the rental costs at both shops be equal? So it asks us to write an equation that represents each shop shops charges what do your variables represent so uh i'm gonna put all my work down here just i don't have a lot of work right there so i'm gonna say for a right first of all i it, what, when it says what do your variables represent that question that's defining the variable right so i want to define uh each variable right i want to define each variable and when we're when we're dealing with a system of equations we have usually two variables. We have an X and a Y. And that's what I'll have. I'll have an X and a Y, right? Because I'm talking about the cost. That's my output. The total cost is my output. And my output is always my Y. That The total cost my output is what Y would be, right? So then what is the X? Well, how, what do I, what's the dependent or the independent variable? Like what What's going to make everything change? What makes the total cost change? How, what, what would give me different total costs would be each hour, right? If I had four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours, that's going to change the total cost. So X represents the number of hours. Okay. So if I'm going to write an equation for Sam, so this is Sam's shop. What would be my equation? Well, I'd say Y equals, right? Sam's total cost is $25 plus $3 per hour. So when you say per hour, you're saying $3 each hour. So if it was 10 hours, I'd go three times 10. If it was five hours, it'd be three times five. So we write it with multiplication, three X, three times X. So there's my equation for Sam shop. And then for Claire's shop, again, total cost for Claire's shop, Y equals, well, Claire says her costs are $5. So it's five plus, cause that's always constant. That's the initial cost of five plus $8 per hour. So again, eight times the number of hours. So eight X, eight times X, X being the number of hours. So those are the two equations that represent. So this part really is, is part A. So then part B wants us to solve the problem. So in order to find where the, because we want to find out how many hours will the rent cost be equal. So what is this, what is the solution to this system? To solve this system, we're going to use the equal values method, which means I want to find what X makes both of those Y's the same. What hours, what hour, at what hour is the total cost the same? So I take my two equations and I set them equal to each other. I take the expression with X part equal to each other. And then I just solve for X, right? So I'm going to do this kind of quickly here. I'm going to, do, I'm going to get all my X's on one side. So in this case, I'm going to subtract three X to keep things positive over here. And then I've got all, that would give my X's over here, right? That would become a five X over here. And then I'll do the same with the numbers, the constants. If I subtract five from this side to make it all the constants over here, that would make that a 20. So I have 20 is equal to five X and then it's just, oops, equal. So then it's divide by the coefficient. So X equals four. So what I'm determining is I think at four hours, based on the, my algebra at four hours, their cost would be the same. So let's double check it. So I then, in order to, to check this out, I take that four hours and I plug it back into each of those equations up there. So Y equals 25 plus three times four. Well, that's 25 plus 12, which is equal to 37. 
Okay, so let's check the other one. Y equals 5 plus 8 times 4. So that's 5 plus 8 times 4 is 32. 5 plus 32 is equal to 37. So sure enough, that's true. So my solution, if I were to looking at this on a graph, because remember your graph, your intersection point is your solution, is 4 comma 37. So when X equals 4, Y equals 37. So that's the solution. But what does this mean according to the word problem? What it means, and this is my answer here, is at four hours, both shops uh, charge the same. So that's really the final response and answer to this one is at four hours, both charge the same. Uh, the same being, I probably should put in there $37. When I say the same, it's $37. Okay. All right. There we go.